What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. This is Hurricane Fiona, or should I say Major Hurricane Fiona, because it has now a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour. The Pat's Path Predictor channel has issued a Code Red for the Turks and Caicos. I repeat, yes, this is our first ever Code Red for the Turks and Caicos, as this is now a major hurricane and the eyeball is impacting uh, that area right now. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it for the next several hours. Maximum stain winds are 115. Hurricane force winds still extend 30 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds now extend 150 miles from the center. It was 140, now 150. Pressure has dropped to 961 millibars right here. If we take a look at the cone, it's looking increasingly possible that this makes landfall as a hurricane, not in Newfoundland, but near Nova Scotia right here, as those miles continue to trend more towards the west. Likely from that uh, trajectory from the Dominican Repu uh, from the Dominican Republic as it continued to move through the area. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. We have hurricane warning for the Turks and Caicos. Bermuda could be under a hurricane warning uh, pretty soon, actually, because there is a chance that this thing could get hurricane force winds or even the eyeball of the system. But we'll have to pay attention to it as time continues to progress. Tropical storm warning for parts of the Bahamas. Global sea temperatures. This is what's fueling um, what this hurricane right here. The global sea temperatures. Okay, this is an updated uh, map right there. So this we have tw right now where it's at is in 29 plus degrees Celsius water right there, which is around 84 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna be moving towards the uh, Bermuda and then towards Nova Scotia, where we have uh, where we have waters not even at 60 degrees in some areas right there. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. The deep layer wind shear. The wind shear, where it is right now, it's been overcoming it for the, la uh, for the last many t uh, days right there. But what we need to pay attention to in the next few weeks, uh, not in the next few weeks, in the next week or so, is the wind shear in the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico because of a video that's going to be coming out in a half an hour after this one. So stay tuned for that one. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at track models and the intensity. Track models have this either making landfall in Nova Scotia, some have it in Newfoundland, others have it making landfall near Labrador, uh, near, uh, Labrador right there. So that's what we're taking a look at. This is like five days out, so things can change in an in, in, in instant right there. Intensity models, we have m several models having this going up to Category 4 strength, uh, some close to Cat 5, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, so yeah, I think one, my estimate of 110 to 125 is going to stay the same. So that's where we're at right now. So this Fiona's the first major hurricane of the se of the season, folks. And we could see another one coming up pretty soon, but that's in a separate video. For, for now, let's go ahead and take a the, look at the HMON, HWARF, and GFS real quick. And this is it right here. This is what we're looking at. The HMON has this moving off, continuing to strengthen a bit. The pressure drops to 938 millibars as it approaches Bermuda right here, now down to 933, and then it, cont it continues right here. Bermuda's right here, it actually, the HMON actually has us moving a little bit more to the west uh, right here, so we could see more of a tropical storm force winds according to the HMON right there as this continues to move through. And then the pressure continues dropping to 920 millibars, 918 millibars, before making landfall in Newfoundland is either a hurricane or extra tropical cyclone right here. So that's pretty much where we're at right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS because this is a longer range model right here. The GFS continues to have this thing battering the Turks and Caicos for several hours and then moving towards the north as it's strengthening. Then it approaches Bermuda and, and yeah, I don't see Bermuda on, uh, on here. So I think it moves to the west of, of Bermuda right here. And then it moves into Canada right here. Uh, first Nova Scotia and then the mainland right here. So yeah, interesting development right there that makes landfalls either a hurricane or, or extra tropical cyclone. The H wharf, let's go ahead and take a look at that because the H wharf is generally the most aggressive of the models, but it hasn't been recently. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This has it dropping to a 940 mil, 935 millibar hurricane as it's approaching Bermuda right here, folks. And then, it can, and then we have Bermuda. All these models actually have it more towards the west of Bermuda. So Bermuda could dodge a bullet with this. So that's what we're looking at. Bermuda could see some tropical storm force winds. And then 
Uh, basically, it moves th it moves to the north, uh, appro approaching Newfoundland and Nova Scotia right there. The H Wharf actually takes it in between those and then has it making landfall on the Canadian mainland, ladies and gentlemen, as an extratropical cyclone right here. So yeah, that's going to end this video right here. I know this is a shorter video, but we're going to have to keep an eye on Fiona. We have another area of interest. We also have Tropical Depression 8 out in the Atlantic right now. That new area of interest, we're going to have to pay attention to, and I will update you guys here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. There should be a video coming out in about 30 minutes, so stay tuned for that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. Go to channels get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.